What is going on guys? This is Ultra 24 and I'm back with some more Super Smash Bros. 4 footage from E3 2014. Now what you're seeing on the screen is me actually on the game on the 3DS version playing Smash Run. Yes, the new exclusive 3DS mode that is on Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. Uh, Smash Run is pretty much a, uh, it's, it's a game mode that you, uh, it's kind of like CD Trial off of Kirby Air Ride. Pretty much what you try to do, you spend about a good, in Kirby Air Ride, you're able to spend about a good either 3, 5, 7, or 9 minutes around the hub world, uh, opening up boxes and collecting power-ups. But in Smash Run, it's pretty much the same thing, except you're not opening boxes, you're beating up old Nintendo enemies. So as you see on the screen right now, I am beating up the Kremlings from Donkey Kong. And let me clear it up that the Kremlings are not owned by Rare. It's just that Nintendo has the IPs, they just don't want to use them in anything. But now, the Kremlings are back in Super Smash Bros. as enemies. So yes, Nintendo does own Rare. Now, the objective of this is to collect the power-ups, and at the end of the Smash Run, you go into a free-for-all, and you either fight, well, in this case, in the demo, you either fight regularly, uh, Warp Star fight, Mushroom fight, whatever it tells you to do at the end, that's what you do. It's a fight like that. And I know in the final product, I've seen the uh, 3DS trailer, there is also racing in the 3DS version. So you can actually race with all the collected powers you have. So like a slow character, like probably, I know he's not slow, like say Bowser could be slow regularly, but if you have the speed stuff, like the speed stats, you will be able to uh, race. And you may be faster than somebody like say Sonic or somebody. So that is actually a pretty cool thing I like about Smash Run, that there's there's so many things that you can do with this, like so many powers you can collect, so many so many attributes that you can have and it, is, and it can still be anybody's game like in this case you can see my little mac footage little mac is pretty fast already but i got a whole bunch of speed stuff and he's even faster i didn't know you can actually be that way but little mac is pretty fast he is stronger he 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 gets stronger with his special attacks as like you can see there like some stuff actually like gets ko'd in one hit because i just get a whole bunch of attack stats like the the power-ups are pretty good. I think there are six power-ups in total. There are attack, defense, speed, jump, special, and I forgot what the and jump. There we go. So those are the six power-ups that you can uh, you can collect in Smash Run, and it, it's it's just a pretty cool fun. It's a pretty fun mode as you can as you can see right here. I, I, I'm going to have so much fun with this mode whenever the 3DS version does come out because I enjoyed it at E3 and I'm going to most likely enjoy it when the full version comes out and there will be more stuff to do on the full version, more characters to try out on the full version and like Sakurai said, there's also going to be the random uh, character feature so whenever you do that, you can just select the character and you can just go in the fray like that now, if you can see on the bottom screen right now with my giant ass hat <laughs> If you saw that on the bottom screen, the bottom screen shows your percentage, the character that you're using, and the uh, power-ups that you have. Not just the ones that you collected, but the ones that you already have in your inventory. Let's say I'm going to, uh, let's say the power-ups that you have is like a gust of wind, you got the uh, mega laser from Kid Icarus, you got the hammer. It's like it's different, like, like right there, like you have the uh, tornadoes. You can use power-ups to actually help you. Apparently, it's easier to use power-ups at the beginning of the thing, so that way you can already become stronger. Uh, you can be, you can become stronger faster if that if that makes sense. That was well, within this gameplay. This was my first time doing Smash Run, so uh, so I am doing pretty bad. Plus, I'm using one of the brand new characters, Little Mac, and let me actually touch on my Little Mac a little bit. Little Mac. I won a few matches with him in E3. He is a monster. Little Mac is a monster. With the exception of if you keep him on the ground. And yes, Little Mac can wall jump. I didn't know that either. But Little Mac is a monster. As long as you keep Little Mac on the ground, he will dominate every match. But that's not to say that he doesn't have any counters like Sonic's homing attack. Sonic can literally do a homing attack continuously since Sonic's homing attack is now faster. Sonic can <laughs> continuously use the homing attack, and he can pretty much, like, counter Little Mac. Like, it's ridiculous, but 
once you keep Little Mac on the ground, like it, it's over. Like nothing can stop him unless if you somehow get him in the air. Which my advice to you, if you guys do use Little Mac, do not jump at all. I repeat, do not jump at all because that is going to be a waste of your time and a waste of your strength. Because Little Mac's aerial is horrible. And now that the time is up, we are going to go into the actual match. Uh, and at the end of the uh, five minutes, you'll see all these stats. You see that my attack is like godly. So I'll probably be KOing people in like one hit. Now we have the actual four player match with the Warp Star. Uh, Warp Star Smash. And pretty much, it's going to be a gimmick every time you uh, finish the thing. So sometimes it'll just be a regular free for all, uh, a regular. Uh, it's gonna be a warp star match, a mushroom match, a race, a climb. It's gonna be something pretty crazy. And as you see, we are on the arena Ferox with Little Max, Samus, Sonic, and Pit. And as you saw there, I literally just did my up B and KO'd. Uh, I believe I KO'd Sonic in one hit. Like Sonic, I mean Little Mac is like my lord. Like, he's already he's already strong enough, but all the the attack attributes that I just gave him just made him even more powerful. As you can see, as you can see there, I think I did a smash attack and already knocked out Samus easily. So little back in these types of fights are actually pretty good. But I believe we are getting close to the end of the match. At about 15 seconds left. Um, if you have any more questions, don't uh, don't forget to put your comments below. Uh, if you want to see more Super Smash Bros. 4 gameplay, if you want to see some more Smash Bros. content in general, I will be here on this channel. I am the, I am your number one source of Super Smash Bros. content. Thank you guys for watching so much. This is Ultradick24. Hope you have a good night, slash day, slash whatever you are, and I will see you guys later. Take care, everybody.